Uh, Neil, you're fairly used to assessing these cup ties by now. What was your assessment of that one? For first half, we were very good. Um, probably to be going in two one down was I thought it was harsh on us, but we didn't defend. You know, we only had I think had two shots in the first half. Um, scored two goals. Terrible defending on both occasions, particularly the second goal. And then we've hit the bar. We've had one kicked off the line. We created numerous opportunities. Balls flashed across from set pieces. And I thought we were good. Um, Came out second half again, first five minutes on the front foot, and we give another sloppy goal away. We kick the ball against one another, and lag goes through. And usually, when you play the full time teams, um, they're pretty ruthless at the top of the pitch, and that's what we found out today. But the, the, the bad thing for me was the, the ease of the way we're giving the goals, and then I think once the third one in, um, we down tools a little bit, which is not acceptable. So, I thought the nature of the defending might be what you highlighted because it's what many people I've spoke to since yep. the final whistle have highlighted too. Is that ultimately then why you're on the losing side this evening rather than the potentially on the winning side or at the very least in the hat with a draw? I think that's been us for the last three games, if I'm honest. St. Ives were very similar first half. Um, guys the second half, so it's, it's been in like 45 minutes spurts. That's why we're not in the draw. You know, you've got to give great credit to Harrogate. You know, they've had the opportunities in taking them and then when a football league side gets on top, um, in games like that, it's a lot easier for them. So when it becomes five, you're thinking, you know, let's let's make sure we, we try and be some opportunities. Then, but you can't play and give opportunities to teams like that because you ain't going to get back in games. You know, I was surprised how many times we did open them up. If I'm honest, in the first half, um, I thought Sol Solomon was absolutely excellent, um, and we probably should have got in a half time at least level, but we didn't. And we then come out second half and give another silly, silly goal away. But hard work now, we've got to move on and get on with it. The goal was a fantastic header. And as you say, at that point, you were very much in the game. How disappointing is it then that you ended up not being in the game just because of, of those defensive errors? We went a goal down after five minutes. Sloppy defender at the back post. Um, and then we get back in the game and it was all us then for, for the period. Lots of crosses coming in the box. We finally... Um, got on the end of one to make it one all. The crowd was up, the ground was up. But then we, you know, we had the corner, I think, and they've scored from our corner. You know, they've cleared the ball and the lads gone through, scored. We've then had Sol's kicked off the line. Great credit to the lads, they kept going. Then we saw Finns hit one, hit the underside of the crossbar come out. Another couple of balls flashed across in set pieces. And then you get them in a half time and you're hoping that we come out second half. And we did, from, from, from seven minutes into the second half, we get, kicked the ball against each other. I can't legislate for that. Let's get back to the positive, though, which yeah. was the fact that 2,000 people here again yeah. today, and that's presumably going to be beneficial for the remainder of this season and where Marine's looking to go as a football club beyond that, the fact that you've, again, shown you can put on a cup time and get a good crowd in. I think the crowd have always been with us all season. I think our average gate's been about 12, 1,300. You know, great credit to them today. I just didn't think we'd done ourselves justice. We didn't show the best version of ourselves. And I think when you're going to play in front of big crowds and in big games like today, and we've worked so hard to to get to this part of the you know of the cup competition, you've got to perform better. And um, we let ourselves down today with our defending as a team, um, which for me, people might think is a little bit harsh. I don't think it's acceptable um, the way we conceded our goals. It's 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 becoming um, a thing that's been happening over a number of games now. Once yet, you can have it, maybe twice, but not three times. And you've got to give great credit to Harrogate. As I said, he put us away. But I think if we defend better, we make a much harder task for them and give our fans and all the people here today a much tougher tie. They ultimately, I suppose, show you exactly where you want to go. They're a non-league time side that have gone all the way into the Football League now. Yeah, I came up, I came up against them numerous times as Chester manager when um, they were in, you know, in the, in, in the non-league and usually came on the right side of victories. But... We know how good they are, but you've got to stay in games, you've got to defend better, you've got to work hard as a team. Obviously, they're going to a football league and an established football league club now, which is a hard thing to do these days with the amount of money in football. So, you know, great credit to them. But my my, my concern, I'm not concerned. My, today, I'm, I'm, I'm upset, probably the word, or this is around the performance um, of defending in, in general in the game. And the, how easy we give them goals away because I thought, in terms of up till the first half, I thought we were right in the cup tie. It was a real good cup tie. Second half, we made it too easy for them. Neil, thank you for your time. Cheers, thank you.